Now let us understand how to divide a segment in one thirds. Question is, find coordinates of the point P which divides the line segment joining A minus 2, 6 and B 7 minus 3 in one third. So let me sketch this so that we kind of understand what the question is. Now it says we have two points A and B which is minus 2, 6. Let us say minus 2, 6 is somewhere here and B is 7 minus 3, 7 minus 3 is somewhere there. Okay. So basically what we have here is kind of a line segment which joins these two points, right? So that is what we have. Where point A is minus 2, 6 and point B is 7 minus 3. Now we need to divide this line segment with the help of point P so that it's divided into one third and two third. That is what we need to do. How to find that distance? How to find that point? That is the real question. Okay. So what we can do is let's drop a perpendicular vertical line from A, right? This is the part of construction and we'll draw a horizontal line from B. If we do that, we get a right triangle. Correct? Now, in this triangle, what are our sides? The base of this right triangle is difference in x values, which is 7 minus 2. Right? 7 minus minus 2. That means this length is 9 for us. Right? 7 minus minus 2. And the height is difference in the y value, 6 minus minus 3, that is also 9 for us in this particular case. Okay, that's great. Now what we need is, we have to get a point here, which will divide into one third. So that is possible. If we divide this line also in three equal parts, so if I divide this line into three equal parts, then it should be kind of one third, right? So maybe here. Correct. So three equal parts. So let's say this. So, and if I divide this horizontally in three equal parts, then let us say this is kind of here, right? So if I join these two points, we get a point on the line AB. That should be the point P. Correct. So this point P should have x coordinates, which is from here one-third away. Do you see that? And the y-coordinates which is also one-third away. So that is how you can get the point P, right? So that is a basic concept of answering this question. So if I'm moving three units from here, then minus two plus three is indeed one. So x-coordinate is one. And if I'm moving three units down, because vertically also in this case is nine, nine divided by three is three, three units down from six, the point is three. So we do get the point P as one comma three. So that is one way of doing it and a very effective way of answering this question. I hope you understand and appreciate the method.